Welcome to another video. It's been a while since I've done a video, but today I will show my system. Some things were going on in my case since the last time. Actually, the case is still the same. I still run the Cosmos S from Cooler Master, and I still run the 790 Ultra from EVGA, equipped with OCZ 1600 MHz 766 Platinum. Behind this Nexus block is a Quad 9650 running at 4.363. I also run a sound card here, which is a PCI uh, one time. It's an XFI Titanium Fatality. And uh, down here uh, I exchange the cards. I run the MSI GTX 280 Super OC Hydrogens. They are equipped with the HK water blocks from Watercool. And there's also a three-way SLI link bridge. And as a power supply I use the Thermaltake 1500 watts Europe edition. And as a pump, I'm using the Innovatec HPPSI High Power, which is an Eheim pump with uh, Innovatec modifications and electronics. And it's an intelligent pump, so it can increase, decrease power, and it's pretty powerful. And uh, if you use that pump, you just have to be careful of vibrations. Up there is still the triple radiator and uh, of course I'm using external solutions for this type of a uh, bench monster system. Uh, next thing I will show the uh, hardware that I've bought that will be replaced here in this system. Since the i7 is out and some things have to be changed. Okay, here's the new hardware that will go into the Cosmos S. I will start with the RAM. It's a 6 GB Tri OCC 1600 MHz Platinum. And it's running at 777, 1.65 volts. There's a third one behind these two. Next thing is the mainboard, which is the first Enforce 200 mainboard that I needed so badly. Actually, I was boycotting ASUS for three years now, but since they are the first ones to launch the Enforce 200, I got this board, which is the Workstation Revolution. And here you can see it has two 16 times 3 way SLI at 2-0 each one if the black slots are not equipped and that's what I really need I need the full bandwidth it will change some benchmarks results because the Enforce 200 will provi provide the bandwidth that I need for three-way SLI and I got a fresh copy of Vista Ultimate 64 bit with service pack 1. I did not have it, so I always had to install with 2 gigabyte, then install service pack 1, and then put the rest in. This is not a, not a problem anymore. Then I got the Velocity Raptor 300 gigabyte. C Raptor and 300 gigabyte. As a CPU, I will use the Core i7-965 Extreme Edition and to cool this one I'm using the water block from Watercool like the hydrogens uh, are cooled with HK so this is also an HK 
3.0, revision 3.0. So those things will go into the Cosmos S. And let's see if, especially the Enforce 200, can change things. So now I'm taking a last look at my old bench monster. Just like it stands here, it was creating a validated real performance boost of 16,925 points in the Vantage Extreme preset with a GPU score of 16,919. One thing I forgot to show is the backplate for the HK CPU water block by Watercool which will also go behind the Enforce 200 board. So now I will take this system apart and put the boards next to each other and have a quick look. So I've taken the system apart. Here's the 790 Ultra in its package. I left the water block on there and the 9650 is still there. And that is the Enforce 200 workstation revolution. The Enforce 200 chip is right below here. Actually very good looking board. Very clean. And there's just latest technology on it. Also the heatsink is actually pretty small. And those are the three blue slots. They will provide three times sixteen times two zero five thousand megahertz bandwidth for three way SLI. And those were the green slots. Only the first and third was providing the full bandwidth. The second one was the bottleneck. So sixteen times one point one. 2500 megahertz. So now I will start building the new system.